Hey guys and all welcome to my channel. If you haven't seen me before, I'm Chantelle and today I'm going to show you this makeup look. I have used a lot of new products today because it's been Christmas and I've got so much like new makeup. I'm literally in love with everything I got. So if you do like this makeup look, make sure you keep watching, like, subscribe and share the video. I would really appreciate it. I've already done my eyebrows and I've primed my eyelids so I'm just going to go straight in with the eyeshadow today. I've already done one eye because I didn't know what I was going to do so I kind of just like went with it. But today I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows, literally. I will be doing like a video of what I got, what are my favourites and like all of that little bits and like I've sorted everything out, what I've got into like a huge little pile in like my cupboards and everything so i've had a good christmas <laughs> like i love makeup so much and i've just got so much of it this year like <sighs> like it's amazing and i'm just gonna go in with with that orange color it's called a burn orange and i'm just gonna go in with uh, i'm just gonna go in with my usual blending brush and i'm just gonna put that on there <sighs> These are literally so friggin' pigmented. Like, you have no idea. Like, I thought this palette was really overrated. And then, obviously, when you get it, you're like, okay, I kind of like this. No, I don't even kind of like this. I like this palette a lot. Like, I can tell that this is not going to last me long at all. So... I'm then going to get this Real Technique brush, it's the base shadow brush and it's literally so free and fluffy so um, I'm just going to go in with that darker um, orange colour, it's called Real Gar, Real, Real Gar, Real Gar, I don't know but it's that one there, <laughs> so I'm just going to put that just on my crease, just to darken it up a bit. Like, I'm not even putting my brush in it that much. Like, and there's so much friggin' pigment coming out. Like, I have not had a better eyeshadow than this one. Like, I'm then taking that brush again and I'm going into the colour Venet. Venet. <laughs> I'm basically going to go in with this pinky red colour. It's um the one next to red ochre. I literally don't know how to say it, so don't ask me. Venetian red. I think that's right, but... And if you guys keep um, thinking that so I'm looking up, it's because my mirror is here. Like, it's just above my camera right now, so I'm sorry about that. I love all of these colours in the palette. Like, do you know when you get a palette and you're like, oh, like, okay. Like, you don't even, like, use all of the colours. But in this palette, I physically feel like I'm going to use all of them. Like, just because they're just so pretty. Like, there's so many transition colours. There's so many, like, neutral colours. Like... I just think it's such a pretty palette. Like, I'm actually obsessed with it. Like, my camera literally just decided not to record my next step. Anyway, what I've just done is gone in with that fluffy brush and just gone over what I just did with a red ochre. I don't know, I just look too pink for me. Like, I'm not a really pinky person. It's me sitting here with a freaking pink top on. I'm not really a pink person, like, eye-wise. I'm more of, like, a warmy autumn kind of person. So I've just gone into the crease again with the red. But for me, I'd rather, like, a pinky red more than, like, a bright red. But that is just free preference. So if you do, like want to use this makeup look you don't have to put the red on it but you know i'm gonna get like a concealer brush and i'm just gonna spray that with it and i'm just gonna go in with that vermeer i think it's that seriously why have they got to put so many fancy names on? <gasps> oh my god that is actually such a cute name i'm not gonna go in with vermeer which is that kind of like shimmery pink undertone just like a foil kind of color and i'm just gonna go in and carve out where my eyelid is 
just so I cut crease like half of my eye. I don't know, like, I've been obsessed with half cut creases for a while now, and I don't know what started me off. Then I'm just gonna go in with the other side of um, this fluffy brush. This brush is from the Naked 3 palette, by the way, literally. I think this is gonna replace my favorite brush from the Naked Smoky palette because it's so nice. Anyway, I'm just gonna go into Cypress Umbar and I'm just gonna go in with the other side and just darken up my outer corner. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. What? This is a friggin' mascara. I keep doing everything wrong, okay. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. That's it. I'm gonna be using the eyelashes. I got them from Wish, like the app. I will try and get the, the link for you, but they were like three pound, there was like five in a pack, and I was like, I'm literally in love with them. They are so pretty. They look so professional, like you have no idea. I just love them, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna, but now I'm gonna be using my Revolution Line and Flick Eyeliner. You know when they just don't look the same and you feel like you want to end everything okay i think that's enough eyeliner which is annoying because i can't get enough eyeliner for some reason like this eyelash looks thicker than this one so i'm just gonna like mascara the hell out of it i don't actually know why they should be the same so I'm just going to be um, using the Revlon Color Stay in the shade 220 just because I, really, I want a really thick full coverage day because it's like Boxing Day and I don't actually know if I'm going out. I put like a face mask on yesterday and literally it's done me so many friggin' favours. Like my skin was just horrible over christmas i don't know why like suddenly i'll have like really clear skin and then i don't know like a, a week or so later i would literally just come up with so many spots and i don't i've never really figured out why like i always stay to the same products on my face really like let's be honest i don't really like do anything different but sometimes I just come up with so many spots. So I've decided to like use face masks and not a lot more. Because if you guys have me on Snapchat, um, if you guys have me on Snapchat, you will see like I put my mask, like I ripped it all off in one, which I was actually so proud of. I literally ripped it off and you could see all of the stuff that it's that, like, like took out of my skin and that to me was just so so fascinating like to know that all of that stuff's out of your skin like i know that that there was there was still quite a lot like blackheads and stuff in my nose but i never really thought to myself oh i'm just gonna do it on my nose so i'll just do like i don't know i just think it's like such a good idea oh my god i got a new be new beauty blender by the way do you know like the one that i always that I always use and my niece um, came over one day and she like a bit a hole in it yeah yeah that happened and I've been using that ever since like just on the other side and I was not feeling that at all like it was just I don't know it felt really unhygienic because every time I washed it everything went inside the sponge I don't know like I just didn't like it basically I'm just so glad I've got a new one it takes me so long to buff all of my foundation because I've got such a big friggin head like what the fuck oh I keep swearing okay well now I'm gonna move on to concealer if I can find it it's here somewhere <sighs> okay. it's here somewhere I'll find it somewhere over the rainbow 
I don't actually. Hey! Found it. Um, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. Not 10, guys, 15. I always used to use the shade 10, but I noticed that when the numbers go up, they get lighter. Like, it sh really should be 15 and then 10 and then 20 because I don't know 20 is like more of like for like mid skin people um 10s for like I don't know tanned people the fit me in the shade 10 is very much like custard in the NARS concealer um so it's more of like a custardy color this one's more of like a peachy undertone color so it will help with the under eyes and plus I am quite fair skinned so but I was just so surprised that like this one's lighter than the shade 10 because 10's a lower number and normally it goes down in like lightness and number shades. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna spray my beauty blender. I get through so much setting spray. I'm just gonna spray my beauty blender with the Revolution setting spray. Hashtag new sound a bit. Hell. And I'm just. I've just contoured with my shade and light palette. I don't know why, but my camera keeps saying that I have no storage. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go in again with that red ochre and just put it on my lower lash line. I don't know how, but this eye makeup looks turned really evil really quick. But you know, we're going to live with that. Yep. The highlight, I'm going to go in with this palette. You guys are all familiar with this. Um, but I'm just going to go in with this palette. And I noticed that this shade was a perfect, perfect highlight colour. I've been using it and oh my god, I'm so in love with it. I'm just gonna wet um, my brush with the Revolution Setting Spray. Okay, so like now I'm going to the gods. I'm gonna be using the Kylie um, Jenner Lip Kit in a Dolce K, literally. <laughs> You have no idea how obsessed I am with this. That is it for you guys. This is an extremely, extremely dramatic look. Like last time I said it was a dramatic, like, a dramatic look, but it wasn't even like that dramatic. But this, I've got dark eyes, dark lips. I'm just feeling the dark today. Like, do you know what I mean? You just have to be in the mood for dark makeup. And like, it's so cold and so like, it's not even Christmassy outside. I don't know why I was about to say that. But it's, it's just so cold and like so like dark in general. I just thought I'd just incorporate it into my makeup. So, but um, I will be uploading a chatty get ready with me. And I will show you in another video what I got for Christmas. I find what I got like really satisfying. Like I was so happy with what I got this year. And like everyone was so lovely. I had my family round. I don't know it was just such a good day like i had my niece my nephew around i don't know it was it was just a good christmas i mean but if you do like this makeup look make sure you like subscribe and share the video i'll see you later